Thank you, Earl. And, and I believe you can see my screen. If you just nod. Okay, great. Um, thank you for your patience. Uh, and uh, I'll try to, I know that we're 40 minutes behind. Um, so I'll try, while I won't try to breeze through it, I'll try to be respectful of everyone's time as well. So this is a, uh, a, uh, a webinar that's trying to help people who may feel like they're stuck, stuck in their job search get unstuck and also providing you some tips for creating a targeted joint, a targeted search plan. This is a joint presentation of uh, the Greater Raritan Workforce Development Board, which services Hunterdon and Somerset counties. We are a federally and state funded organization, semi-private with a, a board uh, that helps set direction and policy programming. Um, and one of the, the, the um, uh, priorities that the board said is trying to make sure that all team members are reaching out in new ways to the uh, community members that we're supposed to serve. And those two uh, buckets of customers are employers and job seekers. Um, we're using material from one of our uh, state partners, the New Start Career Network, which is the um, online-based um, community uh, that works to help uh, the long-term um, older unemployed uh, who are actively looking for work. Um, this particular uh, 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 program is uh, put together from three different webinars that uh, the New Start Career Network has. And I kind of liked it because one, it was suggested by a team member from the Summers County Library System, but also it's, I think there's material in here that will be applicable for anyone of any age or circumstance searching for a job. One of the uh, pillars of this is that sometimes when you get stuck in your job, your job search is just kind of like getting stuck in a relationship that's not going where you want it to be. You've got your backs to one another and you're not really focused on what you what your issues are and what you need to what to do and the goal of this is try to get these your search and you looking at one another and working in tandem the goals of this session are to develop a healthier relationship with your search explore how we can listen more effectively to what our search is telling us and respond in adapt discuss strategies for making learning from your search a keystone habit, uh, review strategies to unstick your job plan, and create a targeted job search plan in its place. Um, this pyramid is uh, something that is included in almost all of the New Start Career Network um, uh, webinars, kind of trying to make sure people understand about how employers are now hiring often and how sometimes people are looking. And as you can see, again, we have a, 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 a we don't have a congruous um, uh, match here. Uh, employers tend to work from internal and contacts from ex existing staff and then networking, whereas uh, job sequels are all often stocked with advertisements, recruitment agencies, and professional organizations. And really one of the things that, um, you want to emphasize is that it's really important if you're not doing so already to network. Often when we're in a, um, a situation where we're uh, job searching, and even sometimes in life, we get stuck in a run, run, run cycle where we don't learn from our experience. It's harder for us to see connections between our actions and our results. And that, allowed, that doesn't allow us to be strategic or targeted, which should be our goals. Um, and then we get stuck, stuck in fixed behaviors and actions that don't move us forward. Um, in the end, you become reactive rather than responsive and proactive. And um, you build on unhealthy habits rather than healthy habits. You also sometimes can get stuck, again, and this is only not for your job search, but for anything in life, you get stuck in a sit, sit, sit cycle where you um, and you get what the experts call analysis paralysis, where you're constantly analyzing and not um, seeking advice. You're you're constantly analyzing and not acting. So you keep um, anal you keep seeking advice. You look for validation. You look for magic bullets, 
which maybe will help you, but the issue becomes that you uh, don't turn the advice you're getting into action and thereby get stuck. So run, 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 sit, sit, sit. Rather, the experts uh, recommend that the best way to um, kind of set yourself up for success is the act reflect cycle, which will allow you to adapt to changing situations and new information. You will become less reactive and more proactive and responsive. You can also start to integrate what you're learning into next actionable steps. Um, and these behaviors will help you grow resilience. And also as a really positive corollary, build skills that uh, employers want in today's workplace. Uh, act, reflect, and the, I guess the headline would be that helps you be in relationship with your research in a healthy way so that you can find your way to the next opportunity. Um, but to do that, one of the skills that the experts recommend is trying to get better at listening. Why don't we listen effectively sometimes? Well, sometimes it's simple, simply a matter we get overwhelmed or we don't make the time when we should. Uh, we don't want to hear bad news and God only knows that's, you know, that's just human nature, I think. And also sometimes we don't know how, to, don't know what to listen to. So one of the tips, the things that we'd like you to take away from this session is that it's important to make now, make time. Um, the one thing you should consider doing from this is committing at least a day to take a hard look at what's been happening in your job search. After you've done that, start reevaluating what's happening every two weeks. So kind of look at the whole picture and say how, what is going on. And also this is part of that, learn to reflect daily on what's happened and how it impacted what you're trying to achieve. Oh, and this is something my mother used to tell me. <laughs> I'm sure your mom did too, or your dad. Uh, just because we don't want to deal with it doesn't mean it will go away. Um, it's, uh, you know, unpleasant realities, I guess. Acknowledge that we're, so it's important for you to acknowledge that we're avoiding information because of anxiety and fear. That's natural. Um, ex also accept the fact that avoiding unpleasant inf information can make your outcome not happen or make things worse for you. Uh, the experts recommend that it's important to face hard truths with the knowledge that your brains will be fed uh, uh, fear and anxieties, but also know that the feelings will pass. And as you're doing all this, it's really important, no shame, no blame. No shame, no blame. So as part of this, it's important to look at the whole process um, and also the fit and motivation. Sometimes we get kind of um, uh, hooked on uh, empty calories and or what the experts calling the job search junk food. Some of this junk food can be that your plan is in your head. Everything's great and I've got it all in here. Um, or that maybe you do have a plan A and a plan B and your plan A is what I did before and your plan A, plan B is anything else. You are always looking for the one perfect resume. You spend too much of your time in isolation and you connect primarily with other unemployed job seekers rather than trying to expand your network whether it's uh, through LinkedIn or, you know, really getting or other uh, digital, plat uh, sorry, social media platforms, um, particularly right now since uh, in-person is a little bit harder, but you, you don't um, kind of reach out the way that you should to be effective. Um, and sometimes you ask for advice. And when you get that advice, um, you say, hmm, this doesn't apply to me, doesn't work, sorry, we'll go on. Um, or you just say, if you have a lead, we don't build any relationship. Um, sometimes we get lost in ageism too. We use that as a crutch. Uh, it may, it certainly, I'm not saying it's not real, but um, the experts recommend to get beyond it. Um, and then you also get stuck in another cycle. You know, we talked about run, 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 sit, sit, sit. Sometimes you get into a cycle of you try hard and then you take a break. 
So you're, you know, you're kind of a, the long distance runner who has spurts, but doesn't pace themselves. And uh, one of the things that other experts recommend is that you create a very um, targeted, um, specific planned search, job search. So as part of this, the experts recommend that it's very important to track your activity to see what you're learning. And also as you're doing this, uh, please don't beat yourself up. Again, going back to those four, four words, no shame, no blame. This is simply a learning process to get better results. Um, part of that, look at how you're spending your time. Know really how are you spending your time? Are you, are you getting lost in the internet searches? Are you not being um, uh, targeted? Are you not being focused? Um, and then you, it, they also recommend it's important to really take a look at how your actions either help or hurt you. And also, what are the results that you're seeing from what you're doing? Are you making connections? Are you having some good conversations um, within your network and expanding your network? Um, is your, what you're doing resulting in interviews or even offers? And then as part of this process, it's important also to ask, how have my activities changed over time? And have those changes helped improve the connections or results? And uh, I think you can uh, assume from what the experts are saying that as you have this honest conversation with yourself where there's no shame or no blame, then you could actually have a good idea of what is happening and whether it's positive or negative, and maybe it's time to, to think of another pathway uh, for your job search. So uh, evaluate your organization as, uh, as part of this. Are you treating your work, your, um, your job search as a work plan that if you had to turn over to somebody else, they could just pick up and do? Um, would they know what the results are? You know, just like you would want that for any uh, work that you're doing. Are you writing things down or are you keeping everything in your head? Are you spending a lot of time looking for things or just trying to get organized rather than writing down your plan and committing it to, uh, committing to it? And are your materials accessible for, for you anytime, anywhere, whether it's on your computer, through a Google Drive, a Google Calendar, whatever tools you use to try to get organized. So as, as you're doing this, the experts believe that you can start to develop a more positive structure will allow you to evaluate your goals, your strategies, and your tactics, um, and then start to develop more um, specific plans A, B, and C, not plans that are just, um, at, not plans that are just um, in your head or what you've done and everything else, but much more targeted outcomes. And as part of this, remember that it's important to work on your plan simultaneously and also clearly outline on paper or on your computer. I know paper is such as uh, on, uh, it's an almost outmoded term, but someplace where you've saved it and you can review it and get back to it and use it as your pillar for your job search. So an example of, of what they're talking about with your, your goal strategy and tactics you could have one overarching goal, but you could have a couple different strategies to get to that goal. And under each strategy, you could have multiple tactics. Maybe some of those tactics may even kind of float between strategies or straddle, but the goal really for this particular um, uh, setup that you see here on the screen is trying to, to realize there needs to be some elasticity in your job search and also some uh, purpose with a, um, uh, a specific uh, end game uh, and then your strategy and tactics that will allow you to achieve that. Sorry, just want to, okay. Just want to change something on one of my screens to make sure that I am keeping, okay, great. 
So remember, as I was talking about the reflective part of this, you know, act, reflect. If um, you're not getting the results that you want, what has to change? Is it your goal? Is it your overarching goal? It is, is it one of the strategies that you're using or one of the underlying tactics that you're using to uh, underpin the strategy and get to your goal? Uh, maybe it's your effort. Maybe it's your organization. But again, have those um, honest conversations with yourself, uh, yourself, understand what job search skills you need to grow and what, which ones you need to break, uh, walk away from so you can get to the goal that you have set in mind. Um, as the, the advice says, what better habit, habits can you replace your bad habits with? It's also important to understand how um, you fit into the current job market and what are you looking for? Are you looking for employment, uh, contract work, remote work? And what is the job, how is the job markets locally set up for that? Um, are you looking for opportunities, particularly for remote work that maybe you fit into, but that you could do anywhere as long as you have the skills needed to achieve whatever that uh, occupation, that um, jobs, um, uh, jobs goals are. Um, understand um, uh, what new skills you may need and what um, skills you are bringing to uh, a, a job that you could transfer to a, a, either a, to a new business or to a new role that makes, takes advantage of all the skills that you built in your previous work. Um, make sure that you have um, uh, job salary require, uh, requirements that align with what's happening. And um, also understand, again, what the, some of the jobs are, um, are, are out there and thinking about what is the work that makes you passionate? Um, certainly, we understand that sometimes you need, uh, you need to take a job that will help to meet your basic um, needs, but um, can you also think about that? Will that job, does that job put you on a career pathway of something that you're interested in, or is it just kind of a, um, not even a bridge, but you know, just something that you were going to do until you, while you continue your very targeted job search. Uh, if you're not sure what's uh, happening in the market, we do have on our website. Um, and one thing I will mention before I forget, um, there are, we have lots of um, links built into this site, into this presentation. Um, I cannot share the, um, uh, the presentation itself but we have created a um, support document that gathers all of these various, uh, uh, various links in, into, I think, two pages. They're all hyperlinked. I will share this with the library um, and they can send it out to participants or listeners. Um, so as I was saying, the Greater Raritan Workforce Development Board has a number of, uh, on this page, our labor market uh, information and analysis page, lots of information on uh, what the skills are uh, that people are, that employers are looking for right now. We do quarterly reports on that. Uh, we do the skills, where the jobs are, what the, who the employer is, what type of jobs they are um, um, advertising for. Again, what are the skills uh, that most come up in the jobs? And also, uh, what are the certifications that are most uh, wanted right now by employers so that you can get an idea of how you fit into the market. And then maybe what if this is what your target is, uh, what do you need to do to ensure that one, that the, uh, your uh, positive possible employer knows that you have what you, you have the skills that are needed to uh, uh, excel or using um, some of the, the free work resources that we have on our site. How do you uh, skill up? Uh, and that's our skill up greater Raritan program, but you can use these free classes to ensure that you have what an employer is looking for um, as you uh, go through your job search. Um, another good resource is, uh, is pay scale for pay in, that gives you pay and skills. And we have additional skills um, on our uh, page. Um, every week under our job sources. 
our resources job seekers page, we post um, the listings that have come up for the previous week in Somerset and Hunterdon counties. So on that page, there are five weeks worth of um, listings that we post every Monday. The listings that I posted um, that we came through yesterday, which now that I'm thinking of it, I think I forgot to add to the site, so I have to do that when this is over. Um, there are more than, um, well, there are almost 600 jobs that are listed between the two uh, counties, and there are a range of positions. Uh, full-time, part-time, clerical, um, professional. So, and you can keep going through there just to get an idea of what is available in the uh, two counties. <clears throat> um, as part of this, it's also important to understand that sometimes as you're looking through all of this information that you need to pivot. It's kind of an uh, overused uh, uh, verb right now, but um, it's still accurate um, that sometimes you know your 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 vision is still fine, but the strategy that you're using to achieve that vision may need some tweaking. Uh, whether that means uh, adjusting your company targets, um, whether it means adjusting your job targets, um, or the type of work that you may be um, looking for. As part of this, we had talked earlier about the importance of networking. So um, talk to people who um, make friends with people um, through LinkedIn that already have the type of job that you're looking for and try to get an idea of what they did in order to, um, to achieve their particular success. And as part of this, again, looking at LinkedIn profiles and making um, understanding what those people are doing so that you can have some similar success. Um, it's also important to understand uh, what motivates you. Um, according to uh, the experts, they are focusing on two different uh, motivators. One's intrin intrinsic, that um, you're motivated by autonomy, learning, mastering a skill, you're curious, um, you're looking for meaning, versus extrin extrin extrinsic, uh, where you're motivated by competition, uh, you're worried about failing. You like uh, getting the, you get like getting that raise or getting those extra points. You like rewards. So those, so it's important to know: Are you the carrot person or the person who likes just to jump off of uh, either a, a, a couple of steps or a cliff? But as part of this, you should know that um, a job search really requires you to tap into your intrinsic motivation. Um, doing that, and again, going back to what um, intrinsic is, the autonomy, belonging, curiosity, love, learning, mastery, meaning. Being, whoops, sorry, I'm back too far. There we go. Doing that, tapping into your intrinsic motivator will allow you to grow autonomy, uh, focus on what areas you can control versus the ones you can't, It'll allow you to grow some mastery so you can um, develop specific job search skills and keep having that um, honest conversation with yourself on how you are improving. And it also allows you to grow purpose um, so that you are acting in alignment with what's important to you and how you can then connect what you're working on to um, give you a better sense of purpose in life. And, you know, this is something. My husband and I talk about all the time um, what you focus on grows. So if you're focusing on the negative, that's what's probably going to grow. If you focus on the positive, well, that's what's going to grow. And of course, the positive is what we want um, to focus on, not only in our for our, uh, job search, but for the job seekers that we're hoping helping, and also just in our own lives. So, actions is part of this. Um, it's important to know it's okay to let things pass. It's important to make a connection. And it's important to understand the values that drive you. What are the most important values you have as a person? What action can you take to reconnect yourself to those val val uh, values and do it mindfully with purpose? And again, you know, that reflect that we keep mentioning, it's important to reflect on this um, be, have that honest conversation where you don't shame or blame, 
but just evaluate, reflect, and act. And then um, keep rinsing and repeating that, you know, keep building on this so you build a positive relationship with uh, your job search. Um, just inserting a little uh, quote from Albert Einstein, the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So this process is trying to get, get you unstuck, to get away from this and to build something that is positive and uh, results oriented. Uh, the experts also have this other little um, recommendation that they have in here, um, circles of concern versus circles of control. Um, and we're going back to reactive versus proactive people where reactive has a circle, circles of concern where they're thinking about a, a lot of things that you really don't have uh, direct control over, but can be fun to think about, you know, you may be, or maybe you want to know about what celebrities are doing. Um, you want to know about the weather and uh, all these other macro uh, things that are happening that um, you don't, while they may somehow impact your life, you can't impact them. But you can control and impact uh, your attitude, the businesses that you start, the skills that you learn, uh, the leadership positions that you hold, the people that you network with, the uh, things you read or do. So those are the things that in positive habits um, can uh, lead to better success. Again, as you're going through this process, the experts keep reminding people, be honest, but don't judge. No shame, no blame. So as part of that, don't defend what you've been doing, but look for what you haven't been doing or could do differently so that that's what you focus on, focusing on the positive, not the negative. And thinking about where can you put more effort and what else might you need to learn about your process in order to have a more positive outcome. And also don't be afraid to experiment. Um, what can you see that will get you different results? You know, for um, over 35 years, I was a community journalist. And one of the things that I loved about being a journalist is, you know, if we got it wrong, we would correct it and go on to the next to, to the next uh, topic. We wouldn't uh, get wrapped in it, wrapped up in the mistake. We would acknowledge it, understand how it happened, and then go forward. And that's very similar to what this process is uh, that we're talking about um, is recommend is recommending. So as part of the success to, the, to this, clarity, intensity, self-efficacy, and tracking. Um, clarity, you're clear on your goals and your, what you want to accomplish. You're doing it with enough intensity uh, and looking at the things that um, have the highest priority and the best payoff. Uh, you're thinking of it positively, knowing that you can accomplish it. And finally, what we talked about, that you're tracking what you're doing. So you know you, what your activities are that you're going to do. You know, you're knowing what the outcomes are. So you're able to evaluate them and you're able to see what's working and how can I do more of this? Again, focusing on the positive. So some questions to ask yourself. Are you clear about your job targets, companies and qualifications? Are you doing a parallel job search as previously recommended, you know, you may have an ABC, but are you kind of trying to balance so that you're doing going on many tracks and not simply one or several, not many, um, not merely one? Are you putting an adequate time in for what you're thinking about? And are you focusing on high, uh, high impact activities? And are you uh, tracking, documenting, and now uh, analyzing and tweaking the entire process? So that kind of goes back to what we were talking about, becomes your, uh, your work plan for what you're trying to accomplish in your job search. So some other additional questions to ask yourself. Are you targeting the right companies and the right work for your skills and experience? Are you applying for enough jobs? Are you customizing your pitch for each company and using the keywords that they are most, you know, that will show that you have some ideas of an idea of what they do and how they do it? Are you expanding your network 
and getting referrals uh, and making personal con connections to the companies that you're interested in. Interested in. Are you communicating that you're up to, up to date and relevant? Um, are you using social media effectively? And of course, that means LinkedIn, 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 Instagram if appropriate. Whatever uh, social media channels that company is using, are you using? And are also you are you showing who you are in a bit from a business perspective on your social media platforms? Are you connecting to new people on a regular basis? Um, are you attending virtual events or participating in activities where you might somehow meet your target employers? And finally, are you engaging in activities that communicate your value and continuously build your skills? Because really, one of the things about this process is that this you can also apply this whole way of thinking to when you get your job too, and as you're going into a position. These are some really, I think, fine, um, uh, fine uh, uh, tactics that you can use, uh, whatever your uh, position is. Um, these are a list of webinars from uh, New Start Career Network. As I said, all of these will be uh, on the uh, sheet that we'll be sharing afterwards that's linked. Um, and it's just kind of, as I said, some really good advice where you could listen, think about, and then decide what works for you. Um, and this even goes to resumes and cover letters. Now, if you get involved with um, the um, One Stop Career Center team, um, they do offer uh, resume reviews um, in the uh, One Stop Career Center. Um, all of these team members are working virtually, but they have set up a whole series of appointments that are either done through phone or Zoom. Um, they're doing all of that work that way. So it becomes, you know, we can still help you. We can help you with um, uh, uh, jobs that are available, targeting those jobs, uh, the sharing with you the listings that we're getting. Um, and we're also getting ready to add a new um, feature up test feature on the site, on our site, www.thegrwdb.org, in which you'll be able to either get some resume templates to work with or have your existing resume um, rated through um, AI, artificial intelligence, and we'll also rate your LinkedIn profile. A whole bunch of other questions that you should think about as you're going through your interview process or your search process. Are you treating a screener or someone you're talking to like a customer? Are you truly listening and not dominating the conversation? Are you communicating your energy and enthusiasm for whatever that subject may be, or just as a person, you know, that, hey, you're interested, you wanna learn, it's all good. Um, and also for the particular position, are you advocating, uh, communicating that you have the aptitude and personality for the job? Are you answering questions as accurately and pos positively as possible? And also saying, I'm not really sure about that one. Um, let me think about it and get back to you because um, I really want to make sure that I give you the, the, uh, the best answer possible. Um, are you delivering the keywords, again, that, are that is tied to the job posting that you're um, interested in? And are you showing that you are fit for the company and conveying uh, your respect for the person you're talking with? <clears throat> Are you conducting a thorough research that you can talk knowledgeably and be able to sell your value to whoever you're talking to, whether it's for on an interview or through a networking um, that you can impress the heck out of somebody that you're talking to? Are, are you also doing some practice? There's nothing wrong with you know, talking to yourself or talking with somebody in your network or a family member to just kind of do a dry run of what you think may, uh, how you may interact in a, uh, and a conversation. And again, projecting your energy, your enthusiasm, your optimism. And are you also being proactive, admitting, you know, admitting, I guess is the right verb, um, that, uh, that there is a way to positively address potential objections and uh, demonstrate that you're open to change, to learning, and uh, you love learning new things too. And also as part of this, asking some good questions. These are some other webinars um, that um, 
go over interviews, different parts of interviewing. And again, all of this will be on the sheet that we'll be sharing with the library to send out to participants. So I hope with all of this, you're understanding that it's very important to get clear about your, uh, in the process, what your qualifications, your experience and your interest are and how these twin with whatever company or occupation you uh, have set your goal on. Um, what do you love doing and when are you at your best? Uh, what are what are you better at than other people? Um, also, what are the values that are important to you? Knowing the job titles and tasks, your geographic location where you want to be located for a new position, the work environment that you are comfortable in, whether you're comfortable working remotely with the team or eventually going back to working with people. We don't really know what that's all going to look like after the um, vaccines work and people uh, feel comfortable going back to what we have, how much of that still will be happening remotely because it's better for the company versus you know whatever the company's goals may be. So set your own goals. Um, make sure you're focusing um, on, the, uh, on your process, uh, understanding that it's good to apply for five, five, five jobs if possible, uh, that you're setting the goal of trying to meet several new people during the week, uh, during a given week, and also attending different uh, networking events. Um, and of course, as I mentioned, virtual right now. As part of your goals, make sure that they are weekly and daily. Again, what we were talking about, that you kind of reflect a little bit on your daily goals, but then, then review after a week or two what, what happened. Um, and as part of this, just decide who you want to be and then celebrate whatever those wins may be, whether they be, be a small win, a medium win, or a big win. It's important to celebrate your successes too. While you're knowing what um, your uh, challenges may be, you're addressing those challenges, you're converting it into a positive trajectory, and then you're celebrating what those changes are that are going to lead you to some new success. This is kind of like the same thing, negative versus positive, focusing on what, what you focus on grows. So don't focus on what's wrong. Uh, don't focus on your age or that you've been out of work too long or that you think no one wants you. You know, why is this process so hard? Um, focus instead on what is working and has what has worked in the uh, past. What do I want to do more of and how can I, can I create that more? Uh, what is uh, positive about me and how can I build on that? And also just learning without shame, without blame, uh, what you can learn from what has happened in the past and how you keep building on those positive um, aspects rather than the negative. So again, again it's important to understand um, uh, your, your, your best working environment and understanding uh, what, how you can prepare, prepare yourself for that. In your working environment, in this um, case, is your working environment for doing your job search. Uh, uh, where you do your best work, your scheduling, how you manage your time, uh, and being intentional about it and setting priorities, reducing or eliminating distractions that will um, take away from your priorities, and creating a structure uh, that will focus your efforts. And again, going back to the, what we were talking about earlier, the importance to have uh, tracking of what you're doing and being uh, taking accountability for it so that you understand, uh, truly understand, one, how you're spending your time, but how the results are, what you can do more of, all those positive um, behaviors that we were talking about and being willing to reflect, coach yourself and go forward. This is how the, some of the way the experts recommend that you uh, spend your time. 20% on finding job openings and applying for them. 20% on making your resume and LinkedIn profile easy to find and communicating your value. And then 60%, going back, remember that, that uh, triangle that we showed at the beginning where network is kind of plopped in the middle. It's really important in this process, not only for what you want to do, but where you want to go afterwards and how you can build on your network. 
so that you have new connections, that you're building relationships that you can use uh, now and in the future. And also consider doing some mini projects, maybe it's volunteering or something else that will help communicate your value and experience uh, that you can post on your LinkedIn, that you can share in a, um, a networking environment so that people understand, hey, this is the catch. These again are some other uh, tracking <clears throat> uh, um, uh, tools that you can use to start kind of become very purposeful about what you're doing. And as part of this, uh, it, it's important to be, as I said, purposeful so that you're moving, reflecting, uh, understanding what happened, what succeeded and what didn't succeed and why. Um, you know, we were talking about earlier and we're not too far from being done. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, that it's important to have uh, different types of job searches. Um, you don't want to have a haphazard research uh, job search. Instead, you want to have a focused uh, a focused job search and an exploratory uh, job search that allows you to examine and explore your different options and also um, focused in that you aren't throwing in it terribly wide, but while you have a couple of focused maybe three different focus types of positions that you may be looking for. Why do the recommend, or experts recommend this? It'll fo focus your efforts and time. It'll also help you be not overwhelmed so that you and your job search are looking at each other. It'll also allow you to feel more control and work more strategically. And also as you're going through this, it'll be allow you to become more convincing and polished in your interactions. And then networking becomes um, becomes effective, but also kind of networking is just what you do um, um, regularly. So it becomes another one of your good positive habits. So this is a, a couple of examples of uh, how to set up a, um, your uh, your job plan. You could have a, an ideal, another option that gets you to that bridge, uh, that gets you to the ideal, or just something that um, is useful now that'll allow you to show your value and that, that you can then use to go to B and A. This is a form that I'll be sharing um, that, uh, that, uh, that will be on the document that you're getting that you can use to create your job search plan. And you'll see it has your uh, job titles, your skills, competencies, what you prefer to do, your education, um, your target, including the geography and the industry, the size of the organization, the type of culture that you're comfortable in working in, uh, your salary range, as well as your target list. All these things that we've been talking about, is this is a way to um, post to use this document in a, a real way. So this is an example uh, for her one plan she's thinking about, well, maybe I wanna be what I do, uh, a workforce del 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 manager or director, the skills that I could bring to this, um, the functions that I like to do, where I wanna be located. And then she also thought, well, what if I wanna do consulting work? Uh, you kind of that plan C, so this is how it would fit into it. Um, this gives you, um, I think it's important to know that, you know, there may be some skills and competencies that are the same between your plans, but there may, and certainly your education will be um, uh, the, and uh, may be the same, but there could be different industries that have required the same skills um, and uh, maybe the size will be different. So you're not, uh, you're targeting, but not um, making it so narrow that you're not being broad enough to be alive to the possibilities that could exist for you. And again, um, as we were talking about, you know, the evaluating, reflecting, the act, re uh, the act reflect cycle. It's also important to monitor, um, and which is part of that too, so that you understand how your um, different goals, your different strategies and tactics are helping you move to your overall goals. 
Maybe you need a, one or two, you need to tweak your plan or develop a couple other plans. Um, but also, how are you keeping yourself focused so you avoid distractions? Um, what are you learning that is feasible and viable about your goals? And what do you need to make changes to because it just isn't working the way it should or the way you want? And are also, your, are you identifying in yourself the skills that you may need to tweak, to increase, to learn, to achieve success? So the act, action steps, develop a plan A, B, and C. Um, develop a marketing plan for each. For each. Um, focus a little time each week on your plan and create sub goals where, uh, where appropriate. Per, per, uh, pursue different strategies for those goals. And again, monitor without blame, without shame, what you're doing and seek feedback, whether that's eternal, whether it's from people in your network, just so you don't feel isolated, that you're working um, in a, a larger ecosystem that will help you achieve success. And again, revise. Re it's okay to revise. It's okay to learn from what you're doing. Um, and as they were, were talking about earlier, focus on what you can grow, what you can control, what um, uh, leads to results, and walk away from the rest. These are some other documents um, that I'll include in that um, sheet that you'll be getting afterwards. And we're just about there. Um, this is network to the point of summary. Um, we're to the point of summarizing what we've been talking about for the last 45 or 50 minutes. Um, again, as we were talking about creating a chunk of time and planning very specifically in a couple of week period, what did you accomplish? What do you still need to do? What did you learn? And what do you need to start doing, stop doing, or continuing to do? Um, after you've done that, what are your goals, strategies, and tactics for the next two weeks? And what are the tasks that you need to do to get to those goals? What resources um, that you need? And also, what gets in your way? And what are your obstacles that you just need to say, eh, it's time to stop and just do what I, it's going to really make me help me move forward. And as part of this, again, schedule the daily reflection, as well as thinking about in two weeks, what are you gonna check on next? So daily, what happened? What did you learn? How did it impact your search? Whether it's your targets, your marketing, uh, your connections. How do I feel about all this? You know, I, you know, we were talking earlier about having that honest conversation. You know, going back to that uh, one of the first slides, acknowledging the anxiety, the fear that you may, may be feeling, but also knowing that that is temporary and that you can go forward, that it will end, and that you can keep going forward positively. And particularly, what can you focus on tomorrow and what do you need to tweak? The experts, I keep emphasizing this, you know, have your log, look at your activities and the results, monitor your efforts and the results, understand your emotions, how they may have impacted what you're doing, and then again, Stop, start, continue, rinse, repeat. What do you need to, what is not working that you need to stop? What do you need to do that will start doing that will lead, lead you to success? And what is working that you should do more of? And what is not working that you just need to say goodbye? So um, our final thoughts, act, schedule time right now to work through whatever issues you may have and pay attention to the physical, mental, and emotional aspects of your search. Reflect, um, what have you learned and how, can you, how does it impact your search? Build and act upon the process. Uh, develop positive habits, that, uh, habits of things that you can control that will make a difference and be ready to uh, not only monitor but tweak change as needed. And importantly, treat everything as a learning experience. What is your job search telling you about what you do and don't want to do, and what could you do? So that you're not, and you're not doing it in a judgmental way, but you're doing it in a way that builds success for you. And a final question that I'll let you uh, ponder, what you, that is, what you think is appropriate to you. What one specific concrete action can you uh, do with the information that I just shared? And again, as I mentioned, 
we will be, uh, I will be sending to Errol and the team at the Somerset County Library System um, a, a document, a Word document with a lot of these links so that you can review them, and think about it. Um, finally, I'd like to offer you um, the resources that we have on the grwdb.org website. As I mentioned, you can click on the resources tab. Um, let me see, let me get this up for you so you can see it. This should work. Uh, can you see, you should be seeing the website now. So what we were talking about Earl, can you confirm that the website's visible? Yeah, we can see it. Great, thank you so much. So the resources tab where you could uh, go to the job seekers uh, tab to look at the job postings that I mentioned, also the governor's job postings. Um, this careeronestop.org website is replete with um, national uh, information that you can then localize for your job search. New Jersey has just launched the careerservices.nj.gov uh, website that's brand new that connects you to a lot of local resources. Um, also, our skill up, um, our skill up Greater Raritan portal that is um, uh, free to residents of Hunterdon and Somerset counties. Uh, once you log in, you have access, unlimited access to do as many learning events or classes as you would like in a 180, 180, day, peer, 180 day period. Um, these are IT as well as um, employability job skills, like how to work in a team, um, how to use Zoom, how to use GoToMeeting. Uh, there's hundreds of courses in the different Microsoft Office suite, as well as all other, um, other topics, as I said, they're 5,000. They can be done in a lot of different ways. Every Wednesday, I run a webinar on how to use the site and log into it. Um, also, uh, you can use this contact us right here to um, get to us on, uh, get connected to uh, whatever your particular need may be. Um, you'll find that we have taped, so taped, recorded, several of our um, uh, uh, class webinars from the Greater American Workforce Development Board um, so that you can you kind of do it all listen on demand. And we also please uh, hope that you will, where do I have it? Sorry, I'm losing myself here with all this information. Um, if you can text the phrase one stop, O N E S T O P, to 56512. Um, you will get a weekly text alert about all the different services and programs that are happening in the area. Um, in addition, please uh, go, just go ahead and get in the habit of uh, bookmarking our calendar. We're constantly um, adding to the different things that are happening that we know about that are career related. Um, this ranges from, yeah, okay. So uh, these are some things that are happening uh, uh, this week and next week. Um, they include, we're starting to get do a lot more um, in, information sessions on available positions for, um, uh, op for, in, for our local employers. Uh, we have one already scheduled. Well, there's actually two. I haven't had a chance yet to put the new one up, I don't think. I'm just going to the, but you'll see that there's, um, oops. And we also are putting some other um, career related job uh, events that are happening that we don't, are, aren't directly involved in, but that can help you find work or, and find employment. Um, our career coach, um, offers a, um, a whole host of different programs throughout the coast of, of um, she usually does two or three a month, and that includes something that she started, she did today, she's doing one on Mastering the Interview, that's starting in half, half an hour, uh, next week she's doing something on uh, creating a dynamic job portfolio, 
And like all of our services, everything is free. Um, we are here simply to connect, again, our job seekers and our employers. And we host a whole, we offer a whole host of different um, uh, programs for employers as well. And finally, I had mentioned this resources labor market information page. You can go on here and you will see the um, an unemployment tracker that we've created that helps you understand um, how many people have been impacted and have gone on unemployment since uh, March of 2020 and also where those jobs are. And we've got it uh, broken out uh, by county. Uh, you can click on this cool thing here and it will show you the total number of, un of people who have become unemployed, have gone on unemployment um, and see which towns have been, been impacted most. But then you can also look at the occupations and the industries directionally. So you can get an idea of um, who has been um, impacted. And we know that as some of these industries come back, there may be such a lot of so many people who are interested in getting back to those industries that there's going to be a lot of competition so maybe you need to focus elsewhere and then as i said we also offer these um, quarterly uh, insight analysis that look at our um hello that look at the cities with the most job openings in the past in that past quarter um, the industries with the most openings, the employers, the occupations, the baseline skills, um, particularly software and programming, that all is a really big one for our two counties, as well as the certifications that uh, are looked for. Um, we have these posted here for the last two years. So you can just kind of, you know, kind of go through the information see how you might be able to use it so that you can understand it. So for example, um, if you see that you'll see that Microsoft, Microsoft Office Suite comes up a lot. So, all right, so maybe you're great in that, you don't need additional training, or maybe this is something that you are not comfortable with or need to learn. You can then go to our Skill Upgrader Raritan where you will, um, um, where you can sign up for these classes for free. So it's a way to put your, what you're looking at, your strategy, it's another way to, to use our services as a tactic to ex achieve your strategy and your, and your ultimate goal. Um, so again, all of this will be on the, uh, on the uh, resource that we'll be sending you. And I've also included um, contacts in the website for the New Star Career Network um, that, links you to a page of there's just so much information they have there and i think almost be a little overwhelming but it's it, it's worth your time to go through it to see what other um webinars that uh, or uh, pots of information that they have that could help broaden uh, your job search help you understand it focus it and get the results that you're looking for and um with that i'm done um, any questions from anyone? I don't see anything in the chat. Yeah. Paul, I'm looking, it looks like everybody, uh, looks like everybody is a CLS employees. Oh, <laughs> I got a clap. <laughs> uh, um, but thank you, Paul. We're going to, um, make sure that this is available, uh, for, uh, uh, everybody that registered for the program. Uh, we're going to, you know, reach out and send them a link with the uh, recording and with all of your uh, uh, wonderful resources. And uh, we apologize again for the uh, technical snafus uh, that, that so delayed us in getting started. If anybody missed us, uh, you have my uh, personal apology. And uh, we expect that these uh, kinds of things are going to be ironed out as we get a little bit more familiar with these platforms. No problem uh, at all. And I will right. send that to you right away so I don't, so it doesn't get lost in my all right. shuffle. <laughs> all, right. all right. Thank you, Paul. And I'm going to stop recording. Um,